These are five projects that will help you stand out in today's job market. If you are an aspiring developer, you have to pay attention to this video and actually take action on the advice that I'm gonna give you here because otherwise you'll be making the same project as everyone else and you will be unemployed. So if you wanna get paid as a developer, if you wanna work remotely as a developer, then these five projects will make sure that you and your resume will actually stand out. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so I'm gonna give you access to this notion with all these projects at the end of this video. There will be a QR code, so you just have to scan it with your phone and then you'll get to this page and then you can actually make a clone of this page and then use it to reference it later when you start building it, okay? So let's look at the first application. So the first app is a YouTube swipe app. So let me give you some context. As a marketer, I am running ads. I'm putting myself in, in the shoes of a person who markets different products. And my competitors are also running ads and I want to collect those ads. And that is called swiping in the world of copywriting. And I want to be able to transcribe those ads. So whatever those people are saying in the ads, I want to get it in a text format. And then I also want to, I don't know, maybe click a button and get several variations of the same ad. So we have a YouTube ad swipe app that takes the transcript of the ad and breaks it down with ChatGPT. So then you can make variations of the same ad. So you can use ChatGPT. That doesn't mean you are an AI developer. You're just calling an endpoint, by the way. So let's just put it that way. As a marketer, which is the target audience of this application, I want to be able to study my competitors' YouTube ads. To do that, I want to swipe the ads. So you can have some sort of Chrome extension that you know when you click on it, it's gonna automatically take the link from the YouTube ad, save it somewhere in a database. You can choose whatever database you want. You can use a SQL database, you can use a MongoDB database, it doesn't really matter, yeah? And um, using AI, okay, uh, this app should transcribe the audio, okay? And then this app should also create variations of the same copy so I can run my own ad and test my own products, right? And then you can have different analytics. For example, you can run your own ads with that specific text and then you, see, you can see how much money or how many clicks you've made from each ad. And then you can decide which one of the ads that you've created based on your competitors is the best one. And then you choose a winner and then you keep creating more variations of the same thing. So this is just a start for you. Then you'll start researching how these apps actually work. Then you'll add more stuff to them, okay? So this is gonna be a, a three month long project, okay? This is not an overnight thing. This overnight success doesn't happen unless you put in a lot of hours before that, okay? So that's the first app. The second app is if you know Jira uh, or if you know Trello, you'll know what I'm gonna talk about here. So basically, we need a way to figure out how we can break down each application into tasks and we want to track what each developer is working on. So in my mentorship program that I'm promoting right now, you can click on the first link in the description if you wanna be a part of it, because I have a great offer, I'm gonna talk about it in a second. The people are building this app called the Crypto App. So it's like quite famous, I always talk about it. So it looks like this, right? And what they have to do is they have to split this app into as many components as possible. So for example, uh, one day they might work on this chart, one day they might work on this one, one day they might work on this feature, one day they might work on this one, one day they might work on the nav bar, one day they might work on the table, one day they might work on the styling. So they have to work in a very professional way uh, by tracking and logging all their work okay they have to name their branches in a specific way so you can figure out from the branch name what they are working on and so on and so forth so we have certain uh, processes in the program in my mentorship program that are very similar to the real world you should do for as an idea for your app something very similar to that so i would highly recommend you to sign up to jira again i linked it here you sign up to jira see how it works and then you build your own version of that I think that's gonna teach you a lot of things. It's gonna teach you how to use you know, a database properly. Uh, it's gonna teach you how to scale a database, how to scale a server. It's gonna give you a lot of experience. It's gonna help you, you know, maybe to create a WebSocket. If you don't know what that is, it's like a real time uh, connection with, off a front end with the back end. Then you can use the GitHub API to 
hook into you know the changes that are happening in there so you can track exactly the work that's happening it's really sick uh, so yeah just sign up to jira and do some research and see what jira is doing and what you can take from jira and apply it to your own application okay uh, then app number three is an interview question generator based on job description so as a user i should be able to paste the job description so let's say you are on linkedin and you see a job that you want to apply to you copy the job description and then you paste it in a in a text area let's say and then you press a button and then you'll get 10 questions okay based on uh, that job description and then you start answering those questions not in writing but by using your mic okay so you transcribe that uh, your voice into text then uh, at the end you'll receive some sort of uh, grade based on how well you answered and then perhaps like a study plan based on the stuff that you messed up right then you could potentially create a feature where you can see what are the things that appear most often in all the job descriptions you pasted and then you will be able to prioritize what you should study and then you can convert the questions into flashcards and then create some sort of system where you repeat the questions that you messed up the most there are so many ways to go about this you just need to start okay and that's kind of what i'm trying to show you here you just need to start with something and then your creativity is going to kick in as you start to use the app because this is the key you cannot come up with an app idea you need to find the problem in your life and then you start solving it and then you're like oh i can add this i can add this i can add this i can add, add this your brain is a source of um creativity but you just need to get it going okay uh you cannot come up with ideas if you sit in your chair or if you scroll through reddit posts that are extremely negative and extremely unrealistic right uh you have to do stuff because when you do stuff you get momentum and when you get momentum like ideas and creativity flows okay and then you just start building and you write the code and then sooner rather than later you'll have a job because you did the work and you don't complain it's as simple as that again i left um, a resource here so you can get some inspiration but again you can mix this up as, in as many ways as you want you have full control over how it's gonna uh, look like and work like at the end of the day you know what i mean all right app number four is an app that generates a marketing plan for a business so for example it's going to take a target audience uh, its pains its problems its dreams and nightmares it's going to take the competitors and creates an outline uh, to market your idea so let me give you an example how this would work so for example my target audience are aspiring developers so let's try to describe this and let's see how I would solve this problem and then how this app would work like right so one of your problems i mean you have a lot of problems but you have no uh, structure right so i have a course which is going to give you exactly the structure that you need then you have no guidance well we have five live calls per week where i can give you guidance exactly for your specific problem then if you get an interview you cannot pass it we have four interview calls per week we have a javascript interview call two React interview calls and one algorithms interview call per week. What else do we have? We have a team project so you can actually get experience working in a team. So these are your problems and this is how I solve them. And this app would allow me to create some sort of marketing plan to, you know, sell my coaching program, if that makes sense. So you can take this idea and then someone can say, okay, I have a business where I uh, walk people's dogs and then you'll take the pains of those people like for example they don't have time or they are too tired after work or the dog needs to be walked during the day when they are at work you put all those problems and then this app is going to create a strategy for how you could market your business okay very um very simple you have to think okay you have to put your thinking hat on okay and the last app is a weather app that takes the current weather in your city and then automatically makes a post on linkedin every day about how difficult the job market is for beginners so you can use the linkedin api chat gpt and the open weather api and based on how bad the weather is the more suicidal the post should sound like obviously i'm taking the piss because 
This would be actually a pretty interesting project. You could do that, probably it's gonna take you two hours. But as you can see, this is super lame, okay? But most people would choose to do this because it's simple, <laughs> instead of, let's say, this or this. This takes time, this takes thinking, this takes energy, all right? And as you can see, this will not get you hired. But one of these four apps will definitely get you hired. That's how I want you to think from now on. Like, how can I find the problem? How can I solve it with code? And then how can I present myself as someone that is different? Okay, and to be different, you need to offer something different than everyone else. And then it's your job to figure out how to put yourself in front of as many people as possible with your idea and with your project and with your resume, and then you'll make it happen. Um, stoked to invite you to apply to my mentorship program. For the past six months, I've been making some, actually nine months, I've been making some sick updates. We have a sick team project. We have interview calls like four times a week. So if you get an interview, you'll be able to pass it. Uh, we have the big crypto app where you learn how to use Next.js. You'll have experience building stuff for a long period of time because that's the only way you can learn something by practicing over and over and over, okay? And the way I do it is instead of focusing like one week on React, one week on JavaScript, one week on HTML, we focus one month on HTML and CSS, two, three months on JavaScript, two, three months on React only, then two, three months on uh, the team project only. So you can actually get experience. I'll get you job ready in nine months. And if I fail to do so, I'll give you all your money back and $5,000 on top of what you've paid me for wasting your time. And I'll also help you until you get hired, okay? So to take advantage of this, click on the first thing in the description. Probably there will not be spots uh, if you see this after a couple of days. So take advantage of it now. It's the craziest thing I've ever done because I have been making so many investments. You pretty much have no way to fail only if you do not do the work. Everything else has been covered for you. You just have to show up, do what I'm telling you to do, and you'll become successful. If not, just do one of these four apps and thank me later. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.